Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to Mingsha Parshala. So this is me, Fire Sadia Mim, welcoming you all to our new video. So today I'm going to talk about how to enrich your fluency in English. So for that reason, we all know that we need to focus on four basic skills. So what are they? They are our reading skill, writing skill, speaking skill and listening skill. For those, we'll have to follow the few steps that I'm going to recommend you right now. So let's get started. Step number one. For your reading skill, you'll have to go through English books or newspaper online or offline. You can just go through the articles that you find on Facebook or online journals and it will keep you up to date as well as it will enrich your reading skill and of course we all overlook our english first paper book that is recommended by our board because we have a seen comprehension from that and we all can answer that easily after just reading once or twice that book but trust me this book is a treasure for your book apps book apps in a sense vocabulary you need to enrich your vocabulary at first to interact with others because if you don't know the words correctly or what expressions that you need to use in a particular situation you cannot just uh, you you might call, uh, you might contact with others but it won't be smart at all and then you will have to go through that book and just know the words you know you will have to know the words you'll have to uh, uh, able to read that correctly and with proper pronunciation and by that you can just enrich your reading skill and then you're ready to go for your writing skill we have a bunch of writing section in our hsc you know like letter email paragraph composition and whatnot so for that what we do we just go through some sample paragraphs and sample essays and just memorize it and drop it on the, our examination paper but if you try to write it on your own words taking the uh, taking the taking some formula from the guidebooks it will be unique as well as impressive so for that reason you have to start writing by yourself so what to do you can write your daily routine or whatever you want you just need to write your thoughts with pen and paper why pen and paper because you can write it with proper spelling you uh, your spelling will be practiced by that or if you don't want to write it with pen and paper you can use your mobile phone there is an option of notes google notes so you have to write at least one page every day and then you'll have to make it checked by someone who has command over english grammar because you have if you have grammatical problems in your um, in your in, if you have grammatical problems then you'll have to correct it from someone who knows better than you and trust me you'll have to choose that person very consciously who will not demean you at any cost you'll have to choose that person who will just look over it and correct the problems he or she finds and by and it he will solve your problems not demean you that আরে এটা পারো না ওইটা পারো না নো এরকম কিছুই না তোমাকে এমন কাউকে চুজ করতে হবে যে তোমার প্রবলেমগুলো খুব ভালো করে সলভ করে দেবে দেন থার্ডলি উইল হ্যাভ টু সুইচ টু আওয়ার রিডিং রাইটিং অ্যান্ড দেন ইউল হ্যাভ টু চু সুইচ টু ইউর লিসনিং স্কিল ইফ ইউ ক্যান্ট আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হোয়াট দ্য পার্সন ইন ফ্রন্ট অফ ইউ ইজ সেইং you cannot communicate with that person properly so if you need to, if you want to interact with others you'll have to listen at first right so for that reason you, i recommend you to watch english movies that suits your age of course because there are many adult contents right now everywhere so don't don't go through that those movies it will 
might harm you most okay so there are many overrated or underrated movies as well so don't just watch those movies uh, watch the movies that suits your age and that which is rated properly it will increase your interest more and more finally we come to speaking speaking is the most important skill you need to develop because we almost all of us can easily read write and listen to others but we cannot communicate because of our shyness because of our um, lack of confidence i should say when i was child i also scared to go in front of the stage and talk before lots of people but i overcame those uh those confidence problems because i i never let others to understand my uh, in insufficiency or efficiency i must say i always try to overcome my uh, my in confidence by myself so you have to interact with others for the, for that i recommend i recommend you to join uh several debate competitions or extempore speeches and mostly you have to interact with others and then there is another recommendation which is you have to listen to soft music and then try to catch the cue words when you will be able to catch the cue words then you go to the lyric section you watch the lyrics and try to utter the same lyrics in a same tempo with the music okay then finally you can find yourself as a better speaker there is another recommendation which is you'll have to practice every single day before a mirror or uh, record yourself in a video and compare your progress each and every day with the previous one okay so i am going to teach you a magical sentence today it's called tongue twister so today i am going to um, uh, teach you a tone which is p in english we write it as p but and we pronounce it as p many of us pronounce it, pronounce it as f it's not f it's neither p it's you'll have to pronounce it with me together pa, 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 pa. so the tongue twister is please put the pen on the paper so can you pronounce it with me let's try please put the pen on the paper put and da it becomes put da so you have to practice it on reverse like paper the paper pen on the paper the pen on the paper put the pen on the paper please put the pen on the paper so if you have noticed me i have pronounced paper okay it's neither paper not paper sometimes we pronounce pen as pen or pain i'm rap pen ta ke pain bani de it's not pain it's please put the pen on the paper so you'll have to pronounce it again and again before mirror before your camera and everywhere when you sleep when you are free when you are talking with others and what you'll have to do you'll have to make a list of the known words start with p that starts with p and then pronounce it with Sound, not wa, neither fa, and then there are some exceptionals like uh, every other languages. They are when p any word starts with p and it takes n sound. When any word starts with p s it takes s sound. When any word starts with p h they take p sound. For example, physics. For example, psychology. For example, philosophy. for example pneumonia so there are some exceptionals in every cases so overlooking those exceptionals you have to find out the known words for example prof professional then practice then please then like paper you'll have to pronounce it and there is a uh, and 
there is a thing that I would like to point out. Just see, paper has two P. In first P, I have pronounced P sound, but in second P, I have pronounced P sound, which is paper. Paper. It starts from paper. Okay. So first one is P. Second one is P. So I hope it's not that much difficult for you. You can practice it easily at home. Now I come some suggestions about your English second paper, which is writing emails. We all know how to write emails, but still I would like to remind you as a gentle reminder, which is you'll have to start with from sent to. When you are starting something with from, that means you are about to write your email address. And when you are sending someone to, you have to give the recipient's email address. So when we we'll have multiple recipients, we can just use CC and BCC. But CC and BCC is not actually needed in a uh, formal way of writing email because we, of course, are sending this email to a particular person, not too many recipients, right? So you have an option to send to multiple recipients that's why you need to show the cc and bcc option but it's not mandatory from my point of view and then when you are sending it somewhere you have to mention in the sent section day date time first one is day for example if i write a, a, an email today i'll have to write at first it's Friday and then the date uh, for example is 21st August and then the time for example I'm sending that this email at 7 o'clock 7 p.m. I'll have to mention the times at 7 p.m. or you can or, or you may write uh, 7 p.m. or the uh, 13 14 15 16 17 18 18 18.00 and then you are ready to go to the body section so of course whomever you are writing the email you'll have to address as dear or sir or madam if you do not write it because there is a number uh, if you do not address the person or the recipient you will your marks will be cut short and then you will have to keep the body as short as concise and as precise as possible because we do not write email as a letter or an application uh, it, 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 it is always as short as possible we try to keep it and then that's the formal way of writing email and then and in the end you will have to mention with regards or sincerely or uh, with love this kind of uh, good wishes you know or thanking you these are formalities these are the way of writing a formal email so inshallah hopefully i'll discuss about how to write formal application or formal cv with cover letter in in near future if you recommend just let me know in the comment section which one do you prefer to know how to write application formally or how to write cv formally i will take a class on that too inshallah so that's it for today i hope you all enjoyed my video and if you just liked it and found it a bit helpful just give a thumbs up and help us to grow thank you so much and hope to see you in minsha patshala very soon Allah face